Hi everyone, I'm Mark Collier with the OpenStack Foundation and I'm back to give you another demo this time of Icehouse. This is the latest release of OpenStack, the cloud platform that makes it easy for you to manage pools of resources in your data center. I uh, want to just show off a few of the new features and the new look and feel here in the dashboard on Icehouse. So uh, as in previous releases there are project and admin views so depending on whether you're an end user or if you're doing administrative tasks but because uh, so much more functionality has been added um, over the the last couple of releases to OpenStack you can see here uh, there's been a need to really create these collapsible and expandable sections so you can actually zoom in on the particular service you're wanting to manage so that's just one of the the neat new enhancements we've seen here in the Icehouse version and if we actually go in here and start to provision some resources, I'll start with volumes and show you something that has been added to Icehouse. So in the past, of course, you could create a volume. And um, I'm running this on my laptop, so I'll just make a small volume. But with availability zones, with any of these resources, you can actually target the availability zone that you're wanting to provision the resource in. Again, being on a laptop, of course, for this demo, I don't have a lot of availability zones, but this is something that you would uh, really come in handy when you have a much larger cloud. Now, one of the new features here in the Ice House is that with a volume like this, you can actually extend the volume. So I'd said that uh, I was going to make a small um, one gig volume, so we're going to go ahead and extend it to two gigs. And in a few moments, you'll see that we've got the successful sign here that uh, my volume's now been expanded to two gigs. So being able to do that through the block storage service, aka Sender as it's known uh, by its code name, is a handy feature. Now if I go in here to my instances and want to start an instance, um, I'll be able to actually boot from that uh, volume that I created earlier. And you'll see that my volume is right here. So we'll go ahead and make this uh, my new instance. And we'll show you how easy it is to get that started. So within a few seconds here, we'll have booted up um, a new image. It'll be attached through the block mapping here to that um, new volume that we created. And also, we're able to expand. And you'll see that this is really the basic function of any cloud is to provision those resources, get your virtual machine up, determine you know how much storage you want to have, uh, how you want to attach it with uh, your instance, and of course, when you're selecting your instance, you may uh, have a number of different flavors um, that are um, that are here for your users. And you, you can configure in the admin section, if you're an administrator, what some of these different uh, sections may be, what some of these different flavors may be, in fact. And of course, um, you'll notice here, because there has been uh, more capabilities added to OpenStack to power new services, the new service with Icehouse is the database service, uh, codenamed Trove. So this is database as a service. So if you take that very, very common um, technology that every uh, en enterprise and every application relies on, which of course is you know, various data stores, um, and you want to be able to automate that, having database as a service is a great new feature here in Icehouse. Now if we switch over to the admin view, um, I'll just show you a couple of things here that are worth highlighting. One is uh, under host aggregates. Um, again, as you're looking to uh, have bigger and bigger clouds and you want to manage um, availability zones as well as host aggregates, having that capability here is, is really useful. And I also mentioned before that you, uh, as an administrator, want to respond to the needs of your users. You want to be able to give them the combinations, uh, aka the flavors, of resources that they want. So, for example, if you wanted to change this flavor uh, so that it had four vCPUs, or one, um, to manage your resources a little differently. You can all edit that here, and then when the users go back through their viewpoint, they'll see the flavors you've created, and they can spin those up. So the last thing I just want to highlight, because it's a, a nice user experience um, enhancement, uh, which came from a lot of feedback because of how many people have been using OpenStack, running Grizzly, running Havana, talking about where they want to go with Icehouse and beyond, is that uh, we can now actually go in here and inline edit the, uh, the project. So whenever there are tables like this, um, you can uh, actually make edits right here live. 
So these are just a few of the refinements that have come from, again, lots of people running OpenStack in production and responding to that um, through the roadmap. So with that, I uh, hope you uh, get a chance to check out OpenStack for your company, and I hope you have a good time with OpenStack. Thanks.